This is Massimo Bottura, the main mine behind Torno Subito in Dubai. I grew up uh, under the kitchen table where my grandmother was rolling pasta and I found my inspiration to become a chef. In my life, I always leave door open for the unexpected. And uh, in that case, uh, it was uh, almost 40 years ago. I was studying as a lawyer, so I decided to follow my passion and I did it. When people ask me, what do you do every day in the kitchen? I say, I compress my passions into edible bites. We feed people with emotion. Kitchen and the service is one thing, and uh, they're all part of this experience. When I travel and try to understand the culture of the place where I am, I'm trying to go to the market and visit things, you know, I visit and understand the culture of agriculture, fishing. So you understand immediately the culture of the all uh, nations. I'm not an artist, I am an artisan, but with the obsession about quality, the quality of the ingredients, the quality of the ideas that I put in the plate. An artist is free to do whatever he wants. During pandemics, um, uh, first thing I did, uh, because I keep the door open for the unexpected, I was listening to my daughter. She said to me, oh dad, do you want to do with me a project on Instagram uh, live? Today we're doing a quick question and answer. We just figured, you know what, you guys probably... The idea of connecting with the world, showing our family life. Oh, love. We start like that. It became a, a, a huge success. When you add everything from life, you don't ask for anything else. So it's time to give. As I say to everyone, all my chefs from all over the world, they work in Florence, in Los Angeles or Dubai, they have to buy local, you know? So they have to build this kind of uh, relationship with the local farmers, fishermen, cheese makers. So, because it's extremely important that, but never forget who you are, or where you come from. I live my life as a dream. Everything that I do and everything I have, everything I imagine is a dream for me. When I come here since, uh, since the beginning, you know, I, I call this place Torno Subito because I want to come back. Torno Subito means I'll be back soon. So one second, I'm going back to Modena and I'm coming back. Every single moment I spend with my team, my team is my family. It's like spending time with my family. So it's like, it's what I love the most. So I cannot say one moment, I can say when I'm here, I feel old. When I decide to open here at Torno, it's Dubai that chose me. The project they let me do here, you can see looking around, you can breathe Italy in Torno. So the project that I did, we recreate this idea of a memory of a child in Rimini, in Cesenatico. That's me. When I was the happiest child in the world, spending you know, summer on the seaside, on the beach, uh, that was the best time. So I said, I'm gonna rebuild this in Dubai. So it's like, uh, it's uh, an incredible, uh, you know, an incredible life. But uh, my life, in my life, there will be always future. Because as I always say, in my future, there will be always future. Papa al Pomodoro is a super classic in Italy and uh, we prepare it as a, a way to show people the mentality that we used to grow up with. 
as my grandmother was doing, not waste anything. So especially bread. Bread is something sacred, you know? And uh, what is uh, a lot of the uh, La Cucina Povera, like the cuisine uh, that is not super fancy, but using ingredients uh, as uh, breadcrumbs uh, or um, Parmigiano Reggiano crust, uh, stuff like that, is a cuisine of emotion. I've learned during my traveling around the world that probably the most humble part, it depends what kind of chef is cooking for you. The humbleness of the ingredients is the humbleness of the people they cook for you.